Good morning, folks. Ken Ring of www.predictweather.com. It's the 3rd of May. The moon is in the sign of Capricorn, which means the southern declination, the southernmost point for 27 days, 27-day month, uh, when it comes to that particular cycle. And it will be there, right in the south there, until it moves into the next sign on about the 5th, um, in fact, just before it sets on the 5th. So it's now after the full moon, but we're still getting the autumn full moon type weather, which means very cold when the moon's in the south, which it is at the moment, uh, right above our heads, here it is here, and uh, warm in the sun when the sun's out, but suddenly very cool out of the sun, you know, when some cloud comes over, or when you find, when you find yourself standing in the shade. And also very clear nights, uh, you can see the moon big and bright up there. Now we're now in the phase known as waning gibbous, and that's uh, what you get after the full moon. It rose last night just after 8 p.m. towards the southeast, and it reached its highest point around 4 a.m. this morning, and that's what it looks like here at the moment uh, in the model, what it looks like when the moon is at the highest point. That's 4 in the morning, and uh, to, uh, as you, and then it sets around 11.30 a.m., towards the southwest, uh, but see here you can see the sun rising when it gets up to here which is due east because here's the east-west line um, and it's daytime above here when the sun gets to there of course the moon is going to be over the horizon and more in the west uh, just about setting so I always show the moon with the highest point showing at 4 a.m. that's what it looks like sun about to rise moon of course directly over our heads here in the south of the world. Now over May I'm expecting the Mackenzie country to be very sparse in rainfall, also the west coast and Nelson and Inland Bay of Plenty. They're not going to get much. Also the catchment areas of the South Island Hydro Lakes unfortunately, but they're pretty full at the moment. Southerlies associated with the El Nino, they're going to be more frequent than usual I think uh, but they're going to bring little rain because of interruptions by ridges of high pressure. They're going to sneak in with cold and dry uh, weather, and it'll be often frosty. Um, lake levels and rivers with the game fish, I think they should restore way down the track in about August, when most precipitation is going to happen for our country. Uh, so the main areas with less than rainfall, they may be the west coast and Mackenzie Basin and Central Otago and also Inland Bay of Plenty and much of the North Island including areas south of the Waikato and west of the main ranges. Um, in Nelson as well I think you're going to get frequent southerlies there and they're going to keep the rainfall below average. Uh, the uh, hail and snow they may also be a feature of uh, this particular month. Ireland if you, um, I think you're in for a nice May, a uh, fair bit of sunshine. I've got rain between now and the 7th, and then only about four rain days over the whole of the rest of the month of May. And of course your summer, I think, is going to click in in about the last week of May. Australia, you're in for rain around the 8th and the 9th, and then about the 22nd onwards for quite a few places, especially the east. Well, that's me, Ken Ring, Thanks for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow.